I made this, using Figma. And, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hi. I am Alex from Essential Web Apps. And, don't worry. It's very easy. But before that, we make videos on WordPress, website and social media strategy, web design and development. To see our regularly uploaded videos, please hit the subscribe buttons and click the bell icon for notification. So, we are here in Figma. As you can see, I have two elements here. One is this big map and this drop pin icon. So, first, I am going to create a frame, with this frame size. Just, click on the frame tool, and from this list, select desktop. As you see, this is the same size as the previously made frame. Let's rename this to map. Now, I am going to pull this map into this frame, just like this. I am also going to pull this drop pin icon here. I put this pin on the right side, because my contact info will be here, and I want my drop pin to be visible right here. Now, what I'm going to do, click on the map frame, and uncheck this clip content option. It will let you see the elements that are outside the frame border. Now, let's make four rectangles. Select this tool, and make it the same size as the frame. Give it a red thick border and delete the fill of the rectangle. Make a copy of this icon and place it here. Now, very quickly, make three more copies of it, and place it randomly. Also, rename the rectangle into whatever you like. As you see, these drop pin icons are outside of the frame, but I want these inside the frame. So, let's pull these back into the map frame. Now, this is very important. You have to convert these rectangles into components, like this. Perfect. Now, the second important thing is, we don't want these to be visible, so, I'm gonna set the opacity into zero. Okay now, everything is into the frame, so, check this again, to clip it to the frame border. Now pull this map frame into the desktop frame, and align it properly. If the size is right, it will just fit in. And, I want this contact info over the map, so, pull it down. Now, let's start the prototyping. First, select this map frame. And, under the prototype tab, click here and select this. Now, let's check. Nice! IT's working perfectly. Now, these buttons should navigate to a certain point of the map. So, for that, select the button, then click on this plus icon under the prototype tab. Click on this. Select this. And then select scroll 2. And here, select any of the rectangles that you renamed previously. Set it to animation. Select ease in and out. And this one to 800. Now, repeat this, for the rest of the buttons. Now let's check. It is working perfectly. One extra tip. If you want to make a real location map, you can do it very easily. Go to the Community tab, and search Map. You will find this plugin here. Install it. And, by this plugin, you can set a real map into your design. So, there you go. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up. And for more, please subscribe. If you want to learn how I make this glass effect, and this button component, then I will put the link of these videos in the description. And, I will see you in the next video.